Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a balloon angioplasty. But what does that actually mean? The heart is located in the center of the chest. Its job is to keep blood continually circulating throughout the body. The blood vessels that supply the body with oxygen-rich blood are called arteries. The arteries that supply blood to the heart muscle itself are called coronary arteries. Sometimes these blood vessels can narrow or become blocked by plaque deposits, restricting normal blood flow. In simple terms, a balloon angioplasty is a procedure used to increase the amount of blood flowing through the coronary arteries. During a balloon angioplasty, a heart specialist will insert a thin tube into an artery in your arm or leg and gently guide it towards the problem area in your heart. Once the tube is in place, a small balloon is briefly inflated in order to widen the narrowed artery. During and after the procedure, your doctor will take x-rays in order to monitor your progress. In some cases, patients will decide not to have a balloon angioplasty, simply out of fear. It's important, however, to understand that balloon angioplasty is one of the safest and most non-intrusive methods of improving the health of your heart. Choosing not to have a balloon angioplasty may put your health at risk. The symptoms you're having may be warning signs of a serious and even life-threatening medical problem. For that reason, you should carefully consider the value of your doctor's recommendation to undergo a balloon angioplasty. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. To begin, your leg and groin are swabbed with an antiseptic solution. Then the doctor will make a small cut over the femoral artery in the upper part of the leg. A special needle is then inserted into the artery itself. Then a guide wire is carefully passed through the needle and gently pushed into the artery and upwards towards your chest. A narrow tube, called a catheter, is threaded along the wire until it too has reached the coronary artery. Next, the doctor uses the catheter to inject a harmless dye into the artery itself. The dye shows up on a TV monitor and is used to pinpoint the exact location of the blocked area. Once the restricted area has been identified, a thin wire is inserted into the catheter and is guided all the way to the blocked area and then slightly beyond. This wire acts as a guide for the balloon catheter. It allows your doctor to position the deflated balloon precisely in the middle of the narrowest part of the coronary artery. The balloon is briefly inflated as it expands, it squeezes the plaque deposits against the wall of the artery. It also stretches the artery wall and enlarges the channel through which blood flows. Your doctor will continue to inflate and deflate the balloon until normal blood flow has been restored. Finally, after a thorough investigation of the region, the catheter and guide wire are withdrawn. The dye that had been injected will break up and leave your body as waste. Slight pressure is applied to the incision in your leg in order to prevent bleeding. Balloon angioplasty only rarely leads to complications. 
Possible problems include infection or bleeding from the incision where the catheter was inserted. In very few patients, the body can react negatively to the chemicals in the dye. As with all heart procedures, there is some risk of injury to the heart or circulatory system, and even death. But balloon angioplasty is one of the least invasive and least risky of all cardiac procedures.